Oh, oh, oh. Kind of rude, not to mention bold, to walk into another man's house without permission. You know rules don't apply to reality sometime, old man. You've been around long enough to understand that, right? That's bull crap. Rules always apply. It's just people like you and I that decide to break them for our own self gain. This ain't for self benefit. This here is about debt. Debt? You know, debt is a bad place to be. One thing you're gonna have to look yourself in the mirror, you're gonna face your own condemnations. It won't matter who caused your problems, you'll be responsible. What am I, in church right now? If you're gonna beg for your life, do it right. Get on your knees and beg for my mercy. No, son. I don't get on my knees for no man. Mm -hmm. And I'll not beg for your mercy. I just want you to realize, you do this, the consequences of your actions, they will be painful. Over for a heavy set of professionals. If this job don't get done, I have consequences. They may even kill my son. Take care of business. Real business or the shit you got yourself into over your son's mom? Why do you keep condemning my past as if the shit didn't already haunt me? Oh, there you go. Raising your voice like what I'm saying is wrong. What about your shit? All on social media, posting all your little pretty pictures, trying to get attention from everybody. Let's talk about that. Am I the one to make you unhappy? Now you put words in my mouth and I don't even be on social media like that. Look, man. Everything that I do is not just for me, it's for us. I'm trying to expand your mind. About that, I got me a part-time job. I'm tired of asking you for money when I need my stuff done. Just want to get some shit out of here. Yeah. Let's go. Freedom. My son, I love saying that. You know I named you Freedom. Because it's a state of not being in prison or enslaved. To have the power to think, say, and do as one wants. Mr. Barr, you know I was taking your son's money today. That'd be nice, but I find it hard to believe. Freedom told me he's right to roll it. He is, but not today. Looks are deceiving. You have to look close. If losing is a state of mind, then you fall a victim to it. Because that's all you do. What are you talking about? Okay, so you got a little luck today. Well, are you sure you really want the pressure of someone looking for that money? You gave me the money and we're friends. We were friends when you were losing. Now you gotta make a choice for your safety. You really gonna threaten my safety? You have a nice day. Just take the money. Freedom, I gotta say, man, I don't like the way you treated your friend back there, man. He's my friend. I'll take care of him later. Well, he can take care of himself if you quit counting him out of his money. So I don't like it. I don't like the fact that you gotta break down my name in every conversation. So are you. Push that pawn right there for me, man. You had a check made in three moves. I know it. But like you did your friend, I want to go ahead and prolong the game and humiliate you. I'll checkmate you when I want to. I bet your father humiliated you. Now you want retaliation. Actually, me and my dad has never played. Well, you never mentioned him. Well, obviously there's not much to talk about. Check me. Whatever happened with you and mom? Well, back then I kind of treated her a lot of bad ways, treated her horribly. She ended up getting with another guy. 
got hooked on drugs. And eventually he killed her. What did you do about it? It wasn't none of my business, Freedom. Then it's mine. I'm going to bed. Come in. What's up? What's going on, Jason? Can I let you? Let's make this quick. Got stuff to do. So I'll make it quick. But if I got stuff to do. I don't want to be the monster I used to be, Torin. First off, Mr. Torin. Key. I paid my debts to you. Not to mention the woman of my dreams. You killed her, man. You took her from me. She was just a piece of sex. Until she got on them drugs. Don't know how that happened. You got her on drugs. You got her hooked on her, man. You do it to every woman you meet. Look, when you got out of prison, I told you. I protect you from a society that wants you dead. And I've done that. Yeah, but I had to kill in front of my son just to stay alive. So fucking what, Jason? Quit being timid. He's my biological son anyway. Bullshit. He my son. I raised him. Let go, Jason. Besides, if he messes up, he gonna disappear anyway. Disappear? What, you got freedom working for you or something? A child seeks truth. He's tarnished. No good like his father's. Like his grandfather. Come on, man, I paid my debt. If you think I'm gonna let you lay one finger on freedom, you out of your mind. I've paid my debts. I've worked for you. Now I can use those same skills to make sure you'll never lay a finger on my son. Torn, don't touch freedom. I'm warning you. Check this out. If you even think of interfering, I said, A to set you so heavy, you'll go crazy. Come on, Jason. You ain't no father. You named the black baby freedom. Nigga, ain't none of us ever been free. Freedom, you want to meet me? Freedom, where you at? Get on your knees. Son, the knees could be a very, very dishonorable position. I'm not going down there. I gotta do it. Why? Because Tor Keith told you to? What, he threatened your life? Freedom, he gonna do that anyways. He gonna kill you anyways. He told me to ask you about my real father. My mom and my grandfather. I'm your father, man. He's full of shit. Haven't I been taking care of you? That makes me your father. But I got paperwork to prove that it's biological. Listen, man. I just apologize that I wasn't that good at it, man. Listen, if it mean that much to you, Torn Keith, he wanted your mama, man. He wanted her bad. He was smarter than me, he manipulated me. He had more money, and he was able to give her a world that I couldn't give her, that nobody could give her. He used her, he played her, he got her hooked on drugs. 
as much as it hurt, man, when, when she was no good to him, murder. What about my grandfather? I'm a victim of my own decisions. Mm -hmm. Jason, I love that you're your own man. I love that you're trying to take care of your son. He's my grandson. What? You just gave me another reason to kill your bitch ass. I just gave you a reason to walk away. Be stronger than that. You're stronger than I am. I'm facing my own realities because you are a part of me. It won't work. You can't get into my head. Jason, I've been in your head all your life. I'm your coward father that was too afraid to answer your questions. But one day you're going to look at yourself in the scariest way. And you're going to see things different. You're going to be different. No. See, the difference between you and I is that you will die in regret. You would die the coward that you are. Me, I know that I raised mine. I took care of mine. Really? Or will you wake up every day realizing that you killed your father? It's your choice. It's up to you. It really doesn't matter to me. But just remember this. You reap what you sow. yourself just walking up in here like that. You look like you ready to handle some business. Well, handle your business then. I told you. Before I die, you can touch my son. You remember when Agent would show up. But the difference is, I don't belong to you anymore. I just want there to be a special moment to hold a little conversation with you before you take your last breath. Do what you came to do. I've been ready. Can't be in this lifestyle not ready to die. But are you man enough to go through with it? Why wouldn't I be? No, man, you looking a little shaky to me. <laughs> you chose the lifestyle. Why did you choose me? Why did you make me this? Why, when I got out of prison, you were waiting on me to turn me into this? Did you a favor. How? Turned you to the man that you see here. Gave you everything, protection. I even let you kill my father. Yeah, that's right. I'm your brother. That's why I protect you. So again, can you do what you came here to do? Because I'm ready. Man up, Jason. Why were you so upset with? Wasn't that for us? I had to be there for you. I took care of us. You made me a killer. Nah. I made you a man. The agent you decided for me to be? Number one. And now I'm number one in the Bundy Group. How does it feel to be at the other end of the stick, John? Feel 
feels great, Jason. She's ready to die. It's supposed to be shaking. A real one. that you create sometimes grow to be bigger than you. It's a shame when you look at the other end of the stick and it's not torn. You get the crack in my <laughs>